everybody. Today, we're going to go through Newton's first law. So, Newton's first law is, well, you know what? You're going to find out about that later, okay? But I have my two very kind helpers today. I have Mrs. Brooks, who, let's be honest, she doesn't know anything about science, so this will be fun. <laughs> and we have our science teacher in training, Miss Enfield, who hopefully is just going to embarrass Miss Brooks. So we have a couple challenges set up for us today that are going to help us demonstrate Newton's first law. And yes, friends, that is a raw egg. All right, so the first challenge, we're going to go ahead and step in Miss Enfield to show Miss Brooks up. So if you guys can see, and I'm running low on pennies, there's a coin shortage. We have about five, six pennies underneath this card, right in the middle of the card, and then a playing card, and then a couple pennies stacked on card. If you guys, on the top of the card, excuse me, right over the top of the first stack. Okay, so if you guys have this at home, you guys can give this a shot. So what Miss Enfield is going to do is her goal is to remove the playing card, okay? But she can't move the pennies. Okay, so basically, once that playing card is gone, I should have a nice little stack of nine pennies. Okay, so she has to try to remove that playing card without messing up the pennies. Can I slide it? I don't know, can you? Oh, she moved the pennies. Oh, oh that fail? that's a fail because it's can't not neatly it. on top. Is it Miss Brooks' turn or do I try again? Go ahead, yeah, you can try again and then we'll give Miss Brooks a shot. Oh, that didn't work. So if you guys want to try at home, you guys can pause the video and go grab a stack of about 10 to 12 pennies. Stack them neatly on the bottom, and then about halfway through, add a playing card, and then stack the last neatly directly over the first pile on the bottom. So your goal is to remove that playing card. See if Mrs. Brooks got what it takes. Right. Gently, gently. <laughs> Oh, you can't be that gentle. Ooh. We'll give her one more shot and then we will move on to the next thing and then we'll come back and revisit this. This is impossible. Nothing That's impossible. the spirit, Miss Brooks. Yeah, wait a, what Social studies is better. Oh, Ooh. big fat fail. All right, we'll come back to that one. Okay, our next challenge, we'll start with Miss Brooks on this one. It's going to be fun. Oh, gosh is very similar to the first challenge. I'm going to move all my nice things because let's be honest, it's going to get wicked. Okay, so what I have is a little vase of water. Okay, and directly over that vase of water, I have this metal pie plan, pan, excuse me, toilet paper roll, and then yes, a raw egg. Mrs. Brooks, this is very similar to the penny demonstration. Okay, your goal is to get that raw egg into the water without breaking it. Okay, but you can only touch the pie plan. You can't touch anything else but the pie plan. Pan. I can't even but say I the, can pan. Move the pan. You can move the pan. But you have to be really careful that you don't mess it up and break it. And can you have to be able to consist. You can't there. touch. Nope, you can't get the toilet paper roll in there. Oh, she break her egg. Uh, there was a cracking, but I think it's solid. Oh, we pull my sweater up. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, she broke in. No. It was right. It was not already broken. We'll give Miss Enfield a try. Okay, so we'll get this all lined up. Sorry, this is kind of a crazy video, you guys. All right, are we in the middle? If you guys have this stuff at home, you're more than welcome to give it a shot. I would not suggest using a, ga a glass pie pan. Going with it. Oh, that definitely broke. Go ahead and reach in there and pull that broken egg out. Oh, oh come oh, on. Oh, Rookie. Perfect. Rookie. Eat it. Uh, my young apprentices have so much to learn. All right. So let's talk really quick about Newton's first law. So today you will be, if you haven't already, adding a little section in your notebook called Newton's Laws. So this will go under force and motion. And you guys today should add Newton's first law to it. So basically what it says is an object at rest remains at rest and an object in motion remains in motion, okay? So that'll be true unless a force outside of the object will act upon them, okay? So this is a little concept that we call inertia, okay? 
Inertia is something an object has, okay? So it's the tendency of an object to keep doing what it's doing. So in the case of our little stack of pennies, all those pennies have inertia, okay? And this applies to first, the first law of motion because those pennies will never move unless a force acts on them, okay? They have inertia, they're gonna wanna stay at rest unless a force acts on them, okay? Same thing with our raw egg up here. That raw egg has inertia, okay? And it's gonna wanna stay there and keep doing what it's doing unless a force acts upon them. So the point of these whole objects right here is to help them keep their inertia, okay? So let's make sure these are stacked up properly. This one's gonna be kind of hard because I don't have quite a tall enough stack of pennies. Here, do you want me to hold it while you do it? I got it, thank you, hold on. Just a little crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack this up. So basically we wanna maintain that inertia of our stack of pennies on the top. So we're gonna apply a quick force to it that allows our pennies to stay where they are. Ooh. Cards gone, pennies are intact. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna need you to film this one, Brooks. All right. Or whoever. Our egg has inertia. It's gonna to wanna to keep doing what it's doing. So we're gonna to wanna to apply a pretty quick force to it to make sure it stays doing what it's doing. So, same kind of concept. We're just gonna slap the pie pan, okay? So Mrs. Enfield's gonna do it this time. Let's see if she can maintain the inertia of that egg. So Mrs. Brooks, okay? This is what I've seen kids do before, and this is the same lecture I give kids in class. Okay. Don't swipe through, okay? I had a kid once that just went whoa and just knocked everything off the table. A little too much force. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slap that pie pan and stop once you hit contact. So you're gonna knock that pie pan, hold on, I almost just did it. You're gonna knock that pie pan out from under that egg, and ideally your egg is gonna stay exactly where it is, okay? You're gonna remove that force holding it up, so the only thing that's gonna pull it down into the water is gravity, okay? But you're maintaining that inertia of the egg, okay? You think you got it, or you want me to do it? Um, I'll try it, we'll see, okay. we'll see. Quick slap. Oh, no. <laughs> Not too quick, Grasshopper. All right. All right, can get this over top. Let's see if I got the uh, old quick hand. Oh, the toilet paper roll. The toilet paper roll is not supposed to go in, but you guys can get the concept that once we remove this pie pan, there's only one force acting on the egg, and that was gravity. Okay? But other than that, that egg stayed directly over top of that base because I allowed it to keep its inertia by acting quickly, okay? So those are two fun things. Let's talk a little bit about inertia though, okay? So if you're looking at a semi-truck and a Prius, okay? Both of those are considerably smaller. What's smaller than a Prius? Like what's one of those old box a cars? A smart car. Like a smart car, okay? Those weigh like what, 10 pounds, okay? So if you guys are driving down, one of you guys is driving in a smart car and the other is driving in a, a semi-truck and you're both going 50 miles an hour, and a woman with a stroller walks out in the street in front of you, okay? Who is gonna have the easier time stopping their vehicle? The semi or the smart car? Why? Okay, I hope you're all saying, well, that semi's huge, it's really massive. Okay, so it's gonna be way harder to stop that for that lady in the stroller, okay? Lucky for you guys, there's only cans in the stroller. She doesn't actually have a baby with her. She's just going to recycling, okay? All right, so this is inertia, okay? That semi is gonna to wanna to keep doing what it's doing. So is the smart car, but one of those is easier to change the inertia of. The heavier it is, the more inertia it has, the more of a tendency it has to keep doing what it's doing. You guys have two shopping carts. One is full with $300 worth of groceries, and the other's empty, and both of them are sitting in the store stopped. Okay, they want to stay stopped. They have a tendency to keep doing what they're doing. They have inertia. But one has more inertia than the other. Which one has more inertia? Okay. Zenfield, which one has more inertia? The one with more mass. The one with more mass, which is our heavy shopping cart. So it's gonna be harder to get that cart going, okay? It's harder to change its tendency, to keep doing what it's doing, okay? So I have another demonstration for you guys. We're gonna have a little race, okay? I have a softball, I have a plethora of these in my classroom, and I also have a bowling ball, okay? We're gonna have a little race, okay? So Miss Brooks, you're gonna be the bowling ball. <laughs> and Miss Enfield is going to be the softball. So they will race around my classroom. They will go down the outside of my chairs. Let me see that. 
They will go down the outside of my chairs. They will come around this back desk, up the middle, across the front, down this aisle, and then back up, and they will need to have their ball hit this cover to be done. Okay, do one of you guys have a timer we can watch? Yeah. Okay, so the goal of this though is they are only using this broom, and they can only use the bottom part of the broom to push their ball. Okay, so let's talk about these two objects. Which one has more inertia? Mrs. Brooks, you're new to science. Which one of these balls has more inertia? Uh, the bowling ball. Why? It's heavy. So what does that mean for you and your race? It means I'm gonna have to use more force with the broom. Probably more force with the broom. Is it gonna be easy to go around those corners? No. Why? Because it'll be going so fast. And that bowling ball has inertia. If it's going straight, it's gonna to wanna to keep going straight. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for Mrs. Brooks to turn it around those corners. All right, so let's go ahead and let Miss Enfield go first. So only the bottom portion of the broom, Miss Enfield. We got our handy dandy timer right here. All right, whenever you're ready, Miss Enfield, do you understand the race course? Yes. On your marks, get set, go. Whoa. Oh, I should have moved those. We got obstacles. We got obstacles. You know, I like to say that this is a really good demo and it's hard to move these, but at the same time, I usually have a lot of ties on this. Miss Brooks just about dropped a bowling ball off the counter, you guys. Good thing I can multitask and film and watch bowling balls fall. Oh, home stretch. Oh. She just has to meet the cupboard. Here it comes. Oh, oh. she missed the cupboard. About 30, it was about 33 seconds. Okay. Woo. All right, yeah. Miss Brooks, you're up. 33 seconds is the time to beat. Good luck. Okay. Bowling ball has made contact with the ground. On your marks. Okay, she cheated. <laughs> she definitely cheated, you guys. Oh, God, she's a hot mess, though. Oh, she's a wreck. Oh, if any of you guys have missed, oh, you missed that aisle. You're supposed to go this way, Ms. Brooks. You're over there. Oh, no. You're going the wrong way. Oh. You should come to, oh, you're, you missed this whole aisle. You're going the wrong way. Stop and come up this way. Oh, man. I hope you guys don't have Ms. Brooks for your teacher. I hope this isn't what class is like with her. We're at 30 seconds. Oh, oh, we're making the first turn. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. She's supposed to go down this way. Oh, no. oh, brother. Hey, get out from behind my desk. Purse is in the way. That's not, that's not my purse. It's my school bag. Oh, wow. Oh, approaching a minute, almost twice the time. Oh, brother. I'm pretty sure she 